Uh, I decided to make this rambling log thingy for uh, uh, multiple reasons. Now the first one is like, what the fuck man, you can't be serious. Now, uh, the first thing, come on man, don't be like that. Uh, I was talking to, uh, come on, Jesus Christ. Uh, now the first thing I was talking to, wanted to talk about was uh, this person I know and this constant uh, berating I was like uh, senseless useless calls making constantly there is no there's no need for calling me like all the time about this and uh, it's quite irritating and uh, on this, on this kind of note, I have to say, uh, quit bugging me. Get a fucking uh, hobby, man. It's getting pathetic. It's really annoying. It's sucking out my life essence. And just because you su are such a Debbie Downer doesn't mean that I want to be part of your Debbie Downer group. So uh, get this your big fucking skull man that's the first thing the second thing is the other guy uh, I mean can be a little bit bitchy here and there but I mean I don't want to say put up with it but uh, get some thicker skin man I know you can do it you're on the right way I mean out of all the people I'm uh, on the same frequency, I'd say, you know, it's good to have somebody like that in your life. Then there's the third person, not being able to finish up with stuff, you know, like always, like one last touch, it's getting annoying, man. I get the idea, I try what, uh, I, I know what you're trying, and uh, just, just stop it over, you know, give it a rest. I mean, it's funny in the first couple of months, but now it's been over a year. Get over the shit. Oh, the lights. No job. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, it's somewhat uh, cloudy. Right. And then there's this last person. Uh, a special someone. Contacting me every one or two or three years. Then being uh, bitchy. <laughs> And uh, then, like, oh, I know, I, I knew you didn't change. Wah. Wah. <laughs> and then uh, being bitchy. And I can play this game for a very long time. This is? No. But what, what, what are you expecting, man? Like, seriously. I'd say <clears throat> sometimes. I'd say like 99% of the people out there get along with 99% of the people out there. And this is, this is a common known fact. There's like 1% of people who are either very extroverted or very special or very unspecial or very needy, annoying, very high energy, very low energy, maybe kind of sluggish, but uh, yeah. Only this one percent doesn't comply with this one percent, and I'm one of these one percent people, I'd say, you know, who gets along with the other 99 percent. But this one percent person has to contact every one or two years, and I just don't have the guts for blocking because I want to play this game in the long run, you know. We're talking like 50, 60, 70 years if I'm lucky, if I stay somewhat in shape. And every one or two years, we write a couple of sentences, <clears throat> exchange, ex ex exchange a couple of messages, and that is it. And then it's goodbye, 
uh, DMs right into the motherfucking trash pit again. And uh, yeah, the same thing happened like uh, two or three days ago. And we uh, basically, we started off on zero, you know, and we left it on zero. And it's just because you literally got sand in your JJ, you know. This is the whole problem. And you're not ready to admit admit and accept this. You know, I I was also able to to progress over over my what is it childlike uh, uh, phase, you know? We just become bitchy and moany and uh, like nobody wanna have to, has to do like anything with you. You know they don't they don't, don't want to do anything with you. You know? I get this. And I've been there I've done that. I've progressed over it, you know. I'm at this very point where I know that uh, I remember this one guy from work and he was like, but what makes you special, man? What makes you special? And I'd say, uh, I never had like this internal conflict, you know. I'd say, uh, I don't know, I don't care, to be honest. Uh, oh, I hate this. What is it? Like, uh, I, I read and saw some treatment methods like when you're depressed or sluggish or unproductive, start uh, writing a journal, you know, a journal about uh, journaling your inner thoughts and being thankful for everything. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. But keep in fucking mind, keep in mind uh, the clock is ticking for everyone, so to say, and it doesn't matter in which... Uh, you know, we're, we're with the lucky few, the lucky chosen, you know, in this industrial state. And uh, it's quite nice to be here, but there's also some decadence going around, and you have to accept this fact. And it's not just this. Just because you're wealthy or rich or affluent doesn't mean you cannot suffer. And uh, it's quite funny, you know. You have to progress to the certain level of richdom, you know richness so to say you have to acquire this uh, fortune in order to understand it you know the funny thing is in the end it's just it's just a green number in your bank account you know just because this green number in your bank account gets unlocked you well, you suddenly say yes it all makes perfectly sense to me you know and then there is this other person uh, and I sort of, I sort of experienced this now in three people, in three fucking people, you know, in sort of different states. The first person is like, I don't know, I want to do this, I want to do that. Can you help me out, Merlin? Can you provide me with links? It's just trash talking. And I fucking hate it when I get engaged in trash talking. And then this other person, Merlin, I need your help. Can you help me with this and that? Can you provide me with some links? And can you give me some feedback? And I do the, all the shit. And nothing fucking returns, you know? I fucking hate talking to you guys. Seriously. I, I'd much rather spend my time walking from Etting to Oberhahnstein at midnight, back and forth and forth and back on this almost shitty piss weather, you know? Because the field listens, you know? When I take a step, I progress a step, you know? But you guys, when I fucking talk to you, you know, nothing comes back. No feedback, no visual, no audio uh, response. So, um, screw you guys. You know, this, like, the second person, especially the second person, how much time I took out of my fucking day writing you and responding and helping you, and the answer is nothing, nothing. And then the third person, you know, I'd say... Yes, no, blah, blah. I fucking asked a binary question. I asked a binary question. Yes or no. The person has an answer for two and a half or three months now, you know? And the ironic thing about this is, I told this person, you know, if you ghost me, don't ghost me. You know, I basically said, just don't ghost me. Tell me if you don't want to meet me up because I fucking hate this ghosting shit. It happened once to me and I won't let it happen again to me. 
you know? And the three months have passed, you know? For this binary answer. And the excuse was like, yeah, but, but we have children and and it's quite it's quite uh, exhausting and we don't have the time. Bullshit, man. Bullshit. I mean, sure, two children might take up some time and some work, but you cannot tell me that you did not have the chance to write yes or no in three fucking months, you know? This is just uh, pathetic. And I know, uh, you know, in my head I have like the thing like where I'm thinking, how about when this person will write me, I don't care if it's next month, next month, next year, next 10 years, you know? And then I'm thinking, I will deduct the time from when I ask the question, you know, let's say the person asks me in 10 years, Merlin, are you ready to do something? And then, you know, I can do, I can pull up with this cycle shit, you know, I'm the pro at this cycle shit. And then I will write down a date, you know, and then I will write, uh, now it's 2024, and 2034 I will get asked, Merlin, how about we do something again? And then I will make a note in my calendar in 2044, you know, 10 years waiting to ask me out, times 2 equals 20 years, in 2044. I will write, yeah, sure, let's do something. A smiley face, you know. Mm, mm. Can, can you taste, can you taste the smiley face? this response you know and this is just uh, what, I'm, what I'm keeping up with it's just uh, yeah <laughs> I mean fuck you guys I, I remember why uh, I was like uh, sort of full of vigor and I had like these life expectancies and everything was like bright eyed and sure and everything turns out fine I mean sure everything turns out fine but uh, you people uh uh uh, I just, I just get get on reminded about uh, people talk like in short phrases, short sentences, little short spouts of words like yes, no, maybe, okay, um, let's see, you know, never, never be concise, never write. I get the idea. You guys don't want to read or listen to full essays or audiobooks. I get this, but at this level. It's ridiculous. We are getting to a point, like I said before, this one guy, three months, he wasn't able to write yes or no. I mean, at this point, wow, wow. That's that's why I'm thinking, like, we, sh we should sort of go extinct, you know? Maybe if we die out, we will learn that uh, we shouldn't die out. And communication is not that hard. If you can't grasp this concept, then maybe you should die out too. Sorry. It's just that easy. And uh, on this note, I'll leave you be. Goodbye.